welcome to Track Ops. I am your host today. I am Chuck Cox. And today we're going to be running through how to use the new desktop app. So we recently released a new desktop application. And the main function of this application is a video editor, video uploader. And so if you haven't already, go ahead and download the app. And if you haven't, I'll go ahead and uh, drop a couple links, one for the Mac version, one for the Windows version, in this video for you to access and download. But the main purpose of the, the new desktop app is to allow you to drag and drop raw video, uh, either from your camcorder, your SD card, your file storage on your computer, laptop, whatever, directly into the desktop app to then time and date stamp the video as well as encode the video for optimum web streaming. You can also do a few other items like editing the video. So you can bring one long video in and you can take clips out of that video, shorter clips. You can take still images out of that video. You can also take multiple videos and combine them into one long merged video. Um, and then you can also remove the audio from the video if, if need be. And then once you're done making your edits and doing all those kinds of different things, you can then upload each individual merge video or clip or raw video that you've, that you've just dragged into the application directly to your TrackOps account. And so it's a really nifty tool that sort of encompasses some of the manual processes that you might have been experiencing uh, before the app has been available, such as encoding, coding your uh, videos, breaking your videos up into multiple videos, or you know, having one long storied video and multiple different files, all that is is now solved by this new desktop app. And so right after downloading the app, you'll notice that it then wants you to come in and sign into your track ops. And so we're going to use our existing information with our track ops account, our existing subdomain, our dot viewcases.com access URL. It's the same one that we're using to log into track ops and so all you need to do is type in that subdomain you don't need www you don't need any other characters from the url just the subdomain itself and then we're going to want to put in our own unique username and password combination so you have a username and a password that you use to log into your track ops account now it's the same one you're going to want to log in with to gain access to the desktop app so we'll go ahead and add that in there. We can also optionally click Remember Me, which will allow us to automatically log into the app next time we launch it, rather than having to put in our username and password again. So go ahead and click and sign in. And now we're into the desktop app. So now that we're logged in, the first thing that we want to do is create a bundle. And our bundles are kind of our our group of videos that we want to upload. So if we create a bundle, we're creating a bundle to sort of represent uh, a surveillance that we conducted on a case, like an activity maybe that we just conducted on the case. So we come in here and we, we click new bundle and then it's going to ask us for the activity date. So when when did we, you know, conduct the surveillance? And you know, we can select a back date and then we can offer a title. So it could be, you know, surveillance of the claimant or surveillance of a particular subject's name. So we can put that in there and give it some specification. Maybe this is the first day of a couple that we're going to be doing our surveillance to separate it from, you know, our next bundle, uh, which will contain videos from maybe our surveillance of the Night King day two of two. Um, and then we can search for the case because when we complete our uploads and we complete our edits we then want to upload directly to track ops and we want to do that up and we got to you know we have to do that to a particular case right we upload uh, video files of this nature directly to a case so we need to find out which case we want to you know upload this to so we can actually search by the subject name if we'd like and then we can select our case and then we can create our bundle so now that we have our bundle, we're, we're ready to add files. So we can simply drag and drop files. We can search through our computer, through our other drives, SD card drive, things of that nature, to grab these videos. Um, and I'm just going to grab some off screen here and drag them in. So once I drag the file in there, then it gives me a couple options. I can timestamp the video, 
and chances are you're going to want to leave this check but in the event that maybe the video already has a time and date stamp on it you don't want to you know over stamp or double stamp so you can optionally remove that if you need to and then you can remove the audio from the video so if it's just a surveillance uh, you probably don't need video if it's a witness interview something of that nature where you actually need the audio then you can uncheck that and actually keep it in the vial for yourself there so once we make our selections, we can then click confirm, and now it'll see. You'll see the video has now populated inside, and we've got a normalizing here. Our video is normalizing, and so what it's doing is it's processing, and it's encoding our video. It's optimizing it for web streaming into an MP4 format. So if you do have raw video, MOV format, things of that nature, the track ops desktop app here will actually encode that video um, using the H.264 codec for a web optimization into an MP4 format that can easily be played back by your investigators, by your clients, things of that nature. You also notice that during this normalizing stage that the app is adding the time and date stamp to the video as well. And so after the video normalizes and it's fully processed you'll you'll see here that it's actually it shows that it's processed and you also notice that the video probably shrunk quite a bit as well so you really have a, a nice HD quality video shrunken down to a nice manageable size that is now optimized for web streaming and so a, a lot of the encoding and things of that nature that you may have to do before um, the, now track ops will do all of that for you and so now the video is processed and now we can do a few things. Uh, one, we can watch the video. So if we click it and now we can play it back. And we notice a couple things. Um, one, the audio is removed. And two, we've got a nice time and date stamp here uh, from when the video is actually taken. Uh, and this is actually my dog Gus here. And so now we can do a few things. So we, if we want, we can create a clip right so maybe it's a hour long video and you only need 10 minutes in that video we can come in here and actually create a clip so if I click create clips up there it'll bring me to my you know clip creation screen if you will and you'll notice there's a clip start and a clip end so I can play my video and you know depending wherever I need to clip I can come in here you know find the necessary point where you need to start my click and click the clock next to the clip start now the clip has started and it's you know it's it's now it's taking a clip of this video a video within a video if you will and once I'm now done taking the clip um, I can click the click end and now I've got a nice uh, individual smaller video within my larger video and you can stop and, and and start this thing so if you know you had a particular point you wanted to grab you could come in here click start you could move it through the video and then clicks end and now you've got another clip here uh, that you can add um, to this bundle. You also notice that you've got a nice create image icon over here. It's this uh, camera icon. Well that'll take still images out of the video. So if there's some images that you want to take uh, you know, of the video and have those as uh, PNG files um, you can you can do that and then upload those to track ops as well. So once I'm, I'm done making clips, and you can see that each clip processed on its own. Uh, so now I've got nice processed clips here from with my larger video, as well as a couple still images. And now I'm done, so I can return to my bundle. And now I see I've got my video clips here, as well as my image stills that I took out of that video. And that kind of brings us to our next portion of the video editor, and that's merging files. So you, you notice you've got this other button here called Merge. And this button will actually allow you to merge multiple videos, or, or in this instance for this particular demo, multiple clips um, into one long clip or one long video. So what I can do is if I have multiple raw videos in there, I can, I can click merge and select those. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and merge the clips that I made. So if I click merge, it'll then allow me to select the clips or videos I want to merge. I check those and then I click continue and then it'll bring me to my next step where I can actually 
order the the videos on, on how they play in the new merged video so if I want one clip to start the video and another clip to end the video I can move these around by clicking the little icon here on the left and dragging them up and down um, in the list so if you had you know a particular clip that you wanted to include somewhere and it was out of place then you can rearrange it in this one step so I'll click confirm and now I have a new merged video uh, identified by the merge marker here on this particular video in my bundle and it is now ready for me to upload into the system. So what I can do now is is come over here and click upload because once you get everything, once you get your final product uh, configured and you've got your video processed the way you want it, then of course you want to upload it in, into your track ops account, right? So you can share it with your clients or your other staff or whatever. So, you know, if you, if you remember when we first created the bundle, I selected a case. Um, this one's particularly about the Knights King. And what I can do is I can upload this to that particular case uh, because that's the case dedicated to this particular bundle. So all I do is click upload and now I select the video I want to upload. I'm going to select my merge video. That's my, my final product. And then I click confirm and now we can see it's uploading uh, back into track ops. So now that I've edited my videos and I've uploaded my final product to track ops, uh, I'm really I'm really ready to go here, but there's a couple other uh, settings items I wanted to to share with you that can automate some of the stuff. So I kind of mentioned that you know with camcorders, you know it splits long videos into multiple files, and so if that's your typical workflow and, and you're going to want to merge those every time, you can actually configure your app, your own desktop app here to auto merge. So if you click the little arrow drop down next to your profile name, and then you click the little pencil icon um, next to your uh, profile it'll bring up uh, your actually profile settings here and you can do a few things like your time zone and things of that nature but if you click bundle settings there's a option here to automatically merge your videos when you bring them into the bundle and there's also an automatic to upload videos once you bring them into the bundle so depending on your workflow you may want to auto merge videos as you bring them into the, the desktop app and oftentimes I see with camcorders that, you know, they, they're able to take a long video, two, three hours, but the video itself is broken up into, you know, 30 minute segments. So on a two hour video, you're going to have, you know, four different 30 minute files. Uh, that make up the entire video and if you want that to automatically merge into one video as you bring it into the system you can leave that auto merge selected and it'll just automatically merge it for you you can also leave the upload auto feature on as well so again depending on your workflow if you just have videos and you want them to immediately upload on track ops you can leave that checked as well there's a couple other things like video settings. So if, if you're uh, maybe a Canadian company or, or you want to use a, a different format for your timestamp, you can use a 24-hour format as, as opposed to the 12-hour format. Um, so keep that in mind as well. If you have any other questions about the desktop app or if you experience any issues with the desktop app, feel free uh, to shoot us a, a ticket. Um, you can click the help drop down button inside your track ops account to click submit ticket or you can send us an email at support at track and we will get to your question as quickly as possible thanks again for using track ops